Hi, my name's Laura. I'm an alcoholic and I'm an alumni of the Betty Ford Center. I came to the Betty Ford Center in November 1996. I had come to the conclusion yet again that I needed help with, with drinking. I didn't realize just how how awful the disease of addiction was and how much it was interfering with my life. There was yet another experience, another embarrassing moment, and it was a culmination of things where I recognized that I needed help, and help was offered to me. On the outside, things looked okay. I um, still went to work, I still had you know, a house and my husband and, and all of those things, but inside I was, I was dying inside. Um, the misery I knew, the bleakness, the despair, those were all things that, um, that became because I drank too much. I um, looked at a couple of different treatment facilities, but I'd heard of the Betty Ford Center. It was world renowned. And so it was important to me that, that I go somewhere where I was going to get the help I needed. I didn't understand anything about addiction. I didn't really know what alcoholism was. I had the preconceived notions it was about the guy who lived under the bridge and drank from, from a brown paper bag. I didn't think addiction and alcoholism was someone like me, educated, bright, middle class. I didn't understand all of that. But I came here and I came with an open mind and I came and I heard the things about the disease of addiction. I learned that I am different. Um, my brain is different from that of a normal person. And it was such a wonderful thing to hear that because I realized for the first time the fact that I drank too much wasn't about a lack of willpower on my part. It's because that I am I'm made up differently. When I think about the many gifts that I received when I was in treatment, the two that stand out the most was learning it was a disease, that it was a, uh, a brain disease, that addiction wasn't about my lack of willpower. Learning that I I was built differently than other people was, was a great relief to me. I didn't, I didn't understand that before. I didn't understand anything about addiction before. I think the other great gift that I received while I was here was hope. Um, hope that I could have a better future than I did a past. Hope that my life would look differently. Hope that my relationships would change and that I wouldn't have that need to drink so that I didn't have to feel. And my life is just tremendously enriched today because of that. I've got blessings beyond imagine, and I am so very grateful to Mrs. Ford for the courage she had in creating this wonderful, unique place of recovery, to the wonderful leadership team here, to all of the staff, and to my fellow alumni. It, um, the bond I have, the feelings I have, just are unparalleled, and I am so very, very grateful for the life I have today because of what started right here.